Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about creating custom archive pages for your categories so that you can have custom templates to do different things like change the look and feel of your category content, maybe have call to actions on those specific category pages. Uh, this is very useful if you're somebody who's been blogging a lot, you've got a ton of content now, you're trying to categorize it with the actual categories that you're using and you want to maybe compartmentalize that content with a different look and feel with those call to actions throughout your site. In my test site, I've imported a bunch of content from my uh, WP Minute website, and you can see I have all these categories um, that are associated to the different blog posts. This kind of practice is very familiar. If you go to any kind of news or media site, you have this homepage, which has all of the content, all of the news. And then if you go into a category, like on TechCrunch, you go into Venture, if the look and feel is, is slightly different. And then you have the venture category with a synopsis. If we look at what I do at the WP Minute, homepage has all of the content that I produce. This particular first post is just slightly larger to kind of feature it. And then if I go into the news section, uh, this is just all of the news posts with a call to action for, your, for my newsletter. And then if I were to look at something like my podcast content, slightly the same, but I now I introduce... Uh, podcast links. So if you're on your mobile app, you can quickly subscribe to the podcast. And then of course, just the podcast content below that. And that's what I'm going to help you achieve today using stock WordPress, using stock 2024 theme. Um, no other plugins needed. Back in the day, this used to be a thing where we had to crack open a code editor, write template PHP files, you know, bring in the query loop and customize all that stuff. I'm going to show you how to do that with WordPress in and how it lives right now in WordPress 6.5, uh, how it works without any other plugins. Okay. So we have our default WordPress site. <clears throat> this is just 2024. I'm using the local app, uh, excuse me, the studio app uh, locally on my uh, computer. Let's go to appearance editor. There's a lot here. I'm going to kind of move uh, as fast as I possibly can. Um, you know, always go ahead and hit rewind. I'll have chapters and stuff like that. So the first thing we're going to do is set up a new template for our front page. So I'll go to the template section hit the plus for a new template. And remember this page, because we're gonna come back to it later. Uh, when you add a template in the site editor, it gives you a few different options for the, what we're gonna do right now. The front page will set up uh, the front page template, which will automatically load on the front page of your WordPress website. It loads a few options here. Um, I'm actually surprised they don't have more options for front page patterns, but uh, we're going to select this one. Uh, this is not the look and feel I want for my query loop, which we'll see in a moment, or our posts. Uh, but by selecting this, what I'm what I'm doing is kind of fast tracking my build uh, because it's putting in the footer and the header template parts, and then uh, it kind of sets the tone for me to say, "Hey, okay, now I can bring my query loop in." Plus, I think this kind of works because, you know, on your media site, you might have uh, welcome to the WP Minute. Subscribe to our newsletter, right? So you might have a call to action up top on your site. So this kind of works for, uh, you know, my particular example. And I'm going to remove this section because I don't like this particular look and feel. So we'll delete it. It's going to say, be careful, you're editing a template. Um, and now we'll add in a posts pattern. You could build this by hand, uh, but again, I like to kind of fast track this stuff with some of the default um, you know, features they give us. So let's go ahead and put in uh, image on the left. That's fine. And now we have to put this into uh, this group. And the query loop I'd like that to go wide width, okay? Uh, this post here is one that I imported from RSS, so that's why that one looks like a TechCrunch site, because originally I was gonna <laughs> redesign a template, <clears throat> I mean the TechCrunch site, but I decided not to do that. Um, so here we are, we've built our new front page. Um, we're gonna go ahead and hit save. Actually, before I do that, let me use everybody's favorite block, the spacer block and add some space between that call to action. I realize I should be using margins, padding, and all that stuff in a group, but they gave us the spacer block. So I'm just gonna continue to use it. I'm gonna hit save, save, 
It's uh, it's it's an amateur move, but it works uh, and it's easy to do. So there's our homepage. Uh, three new blog posts on the homepage. We've you know removed the standard template, and now this is how I want my homepage to look uh, when people land uh, on this media site. Okay, so custom template for the front page. Now what we'll do is we'll add in the archive links into our navigation. That's like the news category, the business category. That way when users click, um, they just automatically loads the archive pages. So you're not creating a, a new page and putting a pattern on it. You could, uh, but this is a little bit more dynamic and a little bit easier. And WordPress gives us the ability to edit those templates. So let's go back to edit the site. We will click into our uh, header template part, and then we're going to add uh, a menu item. So what you're going to look for is the category link block. If you don't see it, just start typing category link and you'll find it. So we'll select it. And it, this will give you an, the ability to select categories that are already set up uh, in your WordPress website. So it's making life a little bit easier. So I'm gonna start search for news. I'm gonna add one more. I have one called business or WordPress business. So we'll add that. Save and we'll take a look at this one more time. Uh, not much has changed. We've just added news and WordPress business categories up top. When I click on the news category, this is what 2024 defaults to for the template. So it just says category news and it gives us a three column grid of our content. I don't have images across all of these blog posts so you're not gonna see the featured images. And then same thing for WordPress business. And this one does have an image, but you can see here, same thing, three columns, and then category WordPress business, and that's it. And if that's all you were looking for out of this video, there you go. That's how you add the, uh, the category archives to your navigation. But now we want to go and give them a specific template so that we can customize it. Back to edit site. And I'm going to add a new template. And... Remember, before I said remember this page, because we're going to use the category archive uh, template setting, uh, and then select either between all categories or a specific category. So you could change um, that default all categories view that we were just looking at. You could change that right here, or you could specify it uh, for a particular category. So we're going to do that. We're going to click on category, and then we're going to do news. And then the same thing, I'm just gonna fast track uh, this here. I'm gonna select this template. This is actually the default template, which I don't mind, but we're just gonna adjust things a little bit. So now we have our header and our footer, and this is going to give us the ability to customize the news category archive page. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove the archive title and replace it with just a header, a heading uh, block. And this is way down the bottom. We're going to say WordPress news. We're going to bring this up. Uh, actually, we got to put that in the group. So we need to put it right before the query loop. And there it is, WordPress news. And now what I'll do is I'll put, just like uh, TechCrunch does, uh, we'll put in a uh, little blurb. In fact, I'm just going to copy and paste this just because it's got some ready-made text for us there. So we'll go here, we'll paste that in. And now this might be something where you say, um, or actually I'll just add a button for like a call to action. Subscribe to the newsletter to never miss an article. That's a terrible call to action, but we'll put it in anyway, just so you can see it uh, and it's visually there. Okay, so we'll just save that for now. And now at the top of our WordPress news category, we're going to have this call to action. WordPress news, instead of it saying category uh, colon uh, WordPress news, I'll put in WordPress news myself, little uh, call to action button, and then a blurb. But you could put anything here. You are selling a product, you could add a product here, uh, embed a YouTube video, you could do that, anything. It's just any content you can put in the WordPress editor, you can put into this template, and it'll load specifically for uh, the news category in, in my case. Okay, so we have the call to action done, uh, the text and everything above that. Next thing I'm gonna do is get rid of this query loop. Or actually, I can just replace it. I'm going to bring in uh, one that looks slightly different. That way, we can visualize the changes a little bit better. 
uh, maybe this one. I don't need the watch read listen, and I don't need the spacer. And inside this query loop, you can see that we have all of that metadata that you could adjust. So if you wanted to customize it even more, like clicking on excerpt, bringing that down, it's only going to affect this particular one. Uh, but if we go into the other column, expand this excerpt, and bring this one up, like you could really uh, customize in a pretty granular level, like the title, the excerpt, the post meta, the dates, all of that stuff. This is something that, man, you really had to, if you want to remove the dates, we'll just show that as an example. I don't recommend it, but there you go. Removes the dates from the query loop. Um, this is something that you had to write a lot of PHP, HTML, uh, your, your basic work, your basic you know, low level work when building WordPress websites back in the day was creating the post template uh, pages, coming in and modifying the loop, putting that code in, adjusting the output and then styling the output. Now that core work is done right here in the site editor. Okay, so now that we have that all set up, we'll take a, another look at the site so we can visualize it. Let's view the site. Again, we have our home page with our query loop that looks like this, sort of this is how we're land making our stock homepage look. Uh, look and feel. We'll click on news so we can see that this looks slightly different than the home page. Uh, it looks a little strange because it doesn't have any images loading, but it is that template that that we were just working with because uh, it's going to show all of those posts with featured images. But you can see on the WordPress news category page, we have um, you know the WordPress news title, we have the call to action button that we put in, and we have our little blurb of content there. And then when we go to WordPress business, it's still loading the uh, default way of uh, of loading templates uh, for the archive pages. So three different layouts there. Uh, we covered a lot, basically going in and setting up a new template for the front page, a specific category template for our news category, and then modifying that template page. So hope you learned a lot here. There was a, a ton of stuff. I know I kind of moved pretty quickly. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Stock 2024, still using it, still liking it. What about you? Let me know. I know there's a lot of tools out there. We talk about that in our live streams a lot and on the podcast. Uh, leave a comment below. Thumbs up if you liked the, the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want more. We'll see you in the next one.